into another video. This is actually going to be a collab with my friend, Miss Starlet Chanel. Hopefully, I'm saying her name right, but I will be putting her name somewhere down here. Um, I am recording in the bathroom. I'm at home, and I have this not natural lighting, and I'm looking at the mirror right here. So, I'll be looking more so right here at this mirror. But this is just going to be a simple winter look is more of like brown grayish tones and excuse me and with a grayish lip so hope you like this video um this will also be a talk through video so let's go ahead and get started okay, so first i like to start with priming my face Just prime my face so i'm using this professional primer that i got from ulta mixed with this ulta matte primer normally think I brought an eyelid primer so I'm just gonna use um some concealer so I'm just gonna be using this LA girl pro concealer and this one is in toffee I'm just gonna apply this on my lids all right so now I'm taking this LA Colors palette right here. This is in Praline. It's a four eyeshadow palette and it's baked. I'm just gonna be taking this color right here, which is kind of like a brownish color. And I'm taking my Naked to Urban Decay brush and I'm using this fluffy side. I'm just gonna apply this color all over my lid. With my wet and wild nutty eyeshadow right here it's just like this grayish color I'm gonna take the other side of this brush and put this in my inner corner and a little bit more so on my inner lid also I'm using this LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's really big, as you can tell, and just put this on. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my foundation. I'm gonna be using this Matte Poreless from Maybelline. This one is in 355 Coconut. Right here, I'm just gonna be using this it on the back of my hand I'm using my elf stipple brush or stipple brush to apply this foundation taking my elf powder brush I'm just gonna be using this to blend out my foundation a little bit better this is a necessary brush for all females I feel like this brush is only three dollars and this just blends out your foundation so good I'll be taking my this new concealer I'm actually gonna try this one out this is pure mineral concealer from um Ruby Kisses. This one is in Warm Honey. I just want to try this out because I haven't tried it yet. As you can tell, you think it's going to be a squeezy one, but it's actually a applicator. So this color is a tiny bit lighter than my skin tone, as you can tell. 
So I'm just placing this. I actually like this better because you get a little bit more product than you would if you use the LA Girl Pro Concealer because that one's a squeezy one. So highlighting really just helps make your face a little bit lighter if your foundation is a little bit dark. So as you can tell, that's that. Now I'm going to be taking my Ulta Beauty Blender. This blend is out, so this, my highlight for my nose looks really crooked. Contour, I'm using my NYX contour palette. I'm just gonna be using this dark color right here to contour. I'm just taking a flat top brush, applying this on my temples, and on the side of my face. I'm only doing a little bit because lately I haven't been wanting to contour all the way down. Okay, I'm just gonna be taking my Dollar Tree Beauty Blender and just blend this out. Okay. Now it's time to go in and set everything. So I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. High Definition Powder for under eyes and I'm taking my e.l.f. concealer brush right here and using this to set it. What I like to do is this is really, it's like a loose powder. I like to put some of this in the cap, just a tad bit, and just taking that out to cap and setting it. I'm going to be using two powders today. I'm going to be using this Black Radiance, Soft Black Radiance powder. I think it's in chocolate. I'm not sure. I'm going to be using this on the inside parts of my face. And then I'm going to be taking this Black Radiance and the chocolate powder. Um, this is just a darker one. I'm going to be using this on the outside of my face. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. complexion brush and just using this first powder and put it on the inner parts of my face. And now I'm going to go in and set my um, contour. I'm going to be using my black brown eyeshadow that I always use for that. And I'm just using this brush right here, which is an angled brush to set my contour. my eyebrows I like to do my eyebrows last because once you add all of your powder on your face your eyebrows gonna look really ashy so you don't want that so I'm gonna be using if I can find it my uh, wet and wild brow thingy and I did a video on my brows Probably may me not be posted yet, but I did one.
Um, next one, I'm going to be adding some blush. I'm just using this Miss Chick blush. This one is in Coral. My favorite blush of all time. And I'm just taking this little brush, I don't know. Just applying this on my cheeks. On my nose a little bit. Just balancing this peachy color out. Blush has been one of my favorite things with makeup. My camera lately. just cut off, but yeah. I'm just using this e.l.f. bronzer or oh, highlighter right here. I'm going to be going on, going in with this color, which is like a goldish color, with my e.l.f. blush brush. Now it's time for one of the other highlights of this look, which is the lips. So my lips are already moisturized. I just use this uh, Soft Lips um, lip balm that I've been loving lately. I put that on before I even start the video. All right, so I'm gonna be using this Express, which is by Ruby Kisses um, Lip Liner and Eyeshadow. This is in, doesn't say. But it's just a brown color. And I'm also going to be using this lip gloss that I use in a lot of things, but I actually don't know what this is from, who is about, whatever. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. You're in focus. And then rub that in. You can definitely wear this look just like this. But I didn't want to. Now let's go over with the gloss, which is just like a brownish color. And this is the way you can blend it out a little bit better. And there you go. So, last thing I forgot to do was add. Mascara. I know something look weird, so I'm just gonna be using this Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara right here and just apply this on my lashes. So this is basically the end of this look. This wintry simple goldish silverish type of look so i hope you like it you guys so make sure you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure you go check out her channel like i said her video and channel will be in the description box and i hope you like this video you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye.